Hi guys, this is Joel from Tramia Talk. I just wanted to provide everyone with an update of what's happening to our website. The group known as Tramia Talk are students at the University of Chester and one of our assignments was to produce a fan site and we were given Tramia Rovers. However, Tramia Talk became something much bigger than university assignments. It becomes something that myself and the group lived every week for. Going to the games, writing the match reports, conducting interviews, it was something that we thoroughly enjoyed and we, we wanted to bring the best content to the fans of Tramia Rovers. There's a few people that I need to thank just for making Tramia Talk as much of a success as what it was. Mickey Mellon is the first. Every time we've seen Mickey Mellon, he was always very open. He'd ask how we're doing and he'd shake our hands. And he made, always made us feel welcome whether we were at the stadium or whether we were, we were at Solar Campus. So thank you very much, Mickey Mellon. Next up is Paul Harper. Paul Harper's got one of the most toughest jobs at Tommy Rovers. The fact that he's, he's got to sometimes do live commentary, live, te live text commentary, he's got to write the match report, the news articles. The man is always constantly busy. So in fan the time to respond to my hundreds of emails that I've sent to him, Fan time to speak to the players about interviews. Paul was a big help in making Trammy Talk what it was. So thank you very much, Paul. Uh, Greg Clayton was a, was a big help in getting Trammy Talk the, the views that, that we sometimes weren't getting. He advised us on certain things of, of what to do, including tags and such like that, because he's an absolute YouTube expert. And his video was absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much, Greg, for your input. There's some of the players that we need to thank as well, because... Despite them being 100% focused on the job that they have to do on the pitch, sometimes off the pitch, they the interviews are in natural part of it. And some are more open than others, but we just want to give a special thank you to those who helped out and agreed to do interviews and even helped set up interviews with, with other players. So, Ben Soller has been, has been a massive help throughout the entire year. But ben Soller, if you knew him, you never think he was a footballer, purely because of how nice he is. He's, got, he's the most humble footballer I've ever met so thank you very much for for um, everything that you've done. James Norwood must be sick of, of trying to talk now and putting out his one-on-ones which it was all a bit of a laugh we know that James Norwood's a fantastic striker and he has no problem scoring one-on-ones but and James Norwood has been an absolutely great person to interview a great, great person to speak to and he always let on to us every time we see him so thank you very much, James, for making us feel well. Andy Mangan was the first player that we actually bumped into. When we first went to Solar Campus, he hijacked the interview and started interviewing Pete, which was a great laugh. And he made us... He, he eased attention a lot because when, when some, of, from, some of us were scared to speak to the players. And Andy, with his big personality, helped ease all that. So thank you very much, Andy. Scott Davies has been absolutely phenomenal as well. Sometimes interviews don't always go to plan. Sometimes they do. One time it never, but Scott uh, held, held no sort of resentment towards us. And he said, that's fine, we'll do it another time. So Scott Davies is a great human being in my eyes. And he's been very helpful when we've needed interviews and such. So thank you very much, Scott Davies. But the biggest thank you comes at the end. And it comes for the Super White Army. Trammy Talk would never have been as much as a success as it was without the help of the fans. All the comments, likes, shares, and everything else in between has been absolutely phenomenal. Just having a conversation about what Trammy Talk are doing, just sharing a video, it, it meant the world to us. And to see sort of university projects become more than what they were, was all down to you, and you enjoying that content that, that we produced. If you didn't like something, you let us know. If you like something, you know, you shared it, and it got more, more, more people viewing it. So we thank you very much for that. It's going to be hard letting Trammy Rovers go, but the focus isn't on us. The focus is on promotion. And Trammy needs to get back into the Football League where they belong. So good luck, Trammy Rovers, for the rest of the 2017-18 season. And good luck beyond that. Thank you. Bye-bye.